What's your favorite part about this game so far? I want my life back. Anyway, um, here's Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. And we're gonna, we're gonna play the whole night. Even though I played for several hours earlier. Chat. I was getting car stuff done. I had car issues, nothing terrible, but just, you know, general stuff. Had to get some work done. It took like two hours. And I just thank God for this game because that would have been horrendous without the Switch and Zelda. That said, I didn't do anything particularly, once again, nothing too crazy. Um... I basically did a lot of farming for materials. I didn't do any of the shrines. Um, I found a couple shrines, but I didn't do them. Um, I did a lot of underground just killing monsters. And uh, I found the forge. Which is good because I wanted to upgrade my batteries. I also maybe found... Okay, so listen, I found a couple interesting things. I'm gonna tell you what I found here. I found, by accident, the fucking Fierce Deity Boots. So... That was kind of amazing. Um... I'll, I'll show you on the map where they are. Uh... Never mind, I don't know where they are. Okay. <clears throat> I forgore. They're in a hole. You'll see it from the... the you'll see it from the sky. It's a, a hole. And you go in the hole. And, uh... Oh, wait, it's in a tree stump. It's in a tree stump. It's in a big tree stump. You go in there, and I said it three times, so you know it's true. It's a three stump. Yeah, you go in there, and, uh, you get your fierce deity... stuff. I also had enough pose from going underground that I got the tunic. I got the tunic of the depths, okay? Which has got gloom resistance, as you can see here. So, that's nice. Um, but otherwise, I didn't do too much. It, again, lots of material farming. Look at this fucking himbo barbarian outfit. I mean, in terms of just cool outfit, I like this one. Just looks good. I gotta upgrade it a little bit more, though. Um, we're gonna be doing lots of that stuff today. I'm gonna actually attempt a dungeon today, or at least try to get to one. We'll see if we ever do, but I'm gonna try. Did you scan your amiibos for glider physic uh, fabrics? No. I know there's a Majora one, and I I'm gonna get that. But, uh, we'll do that maybe another time, not today. There's a crystal refinery. Let's do it. Produce two energy wells will require 200 crystallized charges. I thought you'd get a full battery. Holy shit, this is an expensive process. I have seen footage of interesting contraptions, like, uh, the penis smacking the moblins. I've seen the penis that explodes. I've seen another walking penis monster. I've seen, um, the sky penis that flies. I've seen the penis that shoots fire. Lots of interesting creations that people keep making. Um, very, very interesting. So that's been also fun. But I considered even, like, doing a little segment where I just look at the creations and react to them. But at that point, is it just considered porno?
I'm not sure. No, there's there's non penises too. I've seen a couple. There's been at least one. Listen, if it's not a penis, it's a Korok torture device. Why can't it be both? I think you're onto something, chat. I think whoever creates the first penis Korok torture device ends up getting a million subscribers on YouTube. Ah, uh, delightfully devilish. But yeah, on my own time, I didn't really do anything particularly, um, spoilery. Like I said, just lots of material farming. And, uh, some Korok hunting as well, of course. And a bunch of cooking, just because I didn't want to do it more. Like, I just cooked a ton of shit. Like, I know there are people who are enjoying the playthrough and want to see my reaction to things that are happening. But... I, I would imagine even the most diehard Vinny playing Zelda fan can forgo me, uh, forgore me cooking meals for 20 minutes. What happened here? Oh, fuck! So yeah, that's gonna be my thing. At some point, I think I'm gonna try to do all shrines. Because those are fun and I know people want to see my solutions to them. But... I'll just probably do a lot of random exploring and finding stuff. Like caves and shit. Boobel hunting. On my own. On my time. That feels like a good compromise. I need that other spiky. Where's that? Where did the other spike go? Chat. Oh, it's right here. I wonder if you can... There's something I need to test here. Amazing. Vinny, did you like science museums as a kid? The game is giving me science museum vibes. I love them. My favorite was the Liberty Science Center over at, um, Liberty State Park, which overlooks the Statue of Liberty. That's where the name comes from. It's in New Jersey. And now they do, like, Pink Floyd laser shows there and stuff like that. And, uh... And they, they also... I haven't been there in years, but I saw Radiohead there. Not at the Science Center, but the park. Anyway, yeah, I love science museums. Still do. Hmm. I see. I see. Yeah. What are you doing? Stop that. No, stop that. Oh. 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 
Gems! No! Hmm. I voice cracked on a hmm. I mean, there's a very, very cheesy way to do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm doing this in the dumbest way possible, I, pr I promise you. Like, there's a, there's a better way to do this. Watch. I, I'll show you my, my thought process here. Alright, it's a little- that's a little dumb, but... That's okay. Of course, the the way they want you to do it is like attach some stuff to that that wheel. Of course, and then have the ball go into the wheel. But this is my solution. Oh, where'd the stuff go? Oh, man. Oh, man. Sink in with portals, I guess. If it works, it isn't stupid, it's just dumb. Yeah. Well, what's the difference between stupid and dumb? Honestly, better than the real solution. Well, at least it was a, it was a crowd pleaser. You outsmarted the devs. So that's that's the discourse I've seen a lot about this game is the idea of um outsmarting the devs. But that's, I mean, this may seem obvious, but for those, maybe it's not as obvious, too. I think that's the intention. They give you all this wacky shit to play around with, and they expect you to just complete the game however you want. How much new content is in this game, says chat member, who also said a minute ago, Vinny, is this the worst game you've ever played? Well... I'll give you a quick overview. Um, 
you have all of the underground, the depths. You have all of the sky. Everything has been um, reshuffled around on the surface to the point where there's something new around every corner. I have um, new abilities, like attaching objects to other objects and creating like rocket penises and stuff. You can put pretty much any object you want for the most part. I'm doing Nintendo's job. Like I'm at, I'm actually, I'm like Bill Trinan right now trying to sell this game. Listen, it's a lot. I don't, I don't really need to specifically go into it more than it's a lot of stuff. Fucking combat training again. Steady your aim, fire at the enemy's head. Breath of the Wild, but Gmod isn't really that accurate, in my opinion, says a chat member. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that 100% either. It's... It gives you the freedom to do all kinds of shit, and gives you a lot of tools to fuck around with, but I wouldn't exactly say Gmod. But the sentiment is in the right place, I think. I think it's a, it's, it's a good starting point for how to describe the game. But it's, it's, it's its own thing, and, like, the open world is still as good as um, Breath of the Wild, if not better. Just because you have so much more freedom in regards to traversal. But, again, I haven't finished the game yet, so I can't really tell you for sure. You can farm combat training for easy loot. Hmm. Throwing spear, zonite sword. Zoanite swords are pretty good. Throwing spear spear. It's dumb, I don't need it. Wait, 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 wait. What what happens if you put a zoanite sword on top of a zoanite sword? You get a zoanite sword sword. Okay, I'm going to upgrade my stamina, and then we'll go... I guess we'll go dungeon hunt. Actually, you know what? No, I should upgrade my armor. See, this is how it begins. It's like, I'm going to do a dungeon today, and then I, I'm like, no, 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 I'll upgrade my armor. And then on the way to the armor, something else will happen. And then I'm doing, like, two other things, because I saw, like, a, a weird thing... On, like a Goron smacking his fucking... Badass, and then I'm like, wait a minute, I gotta go see what's going on with that Goron. And then you find that the Goron is Gorny, and then you're like, alright, how do I solve this problem? And then you have to go on a quest to find, like, an, a butt-shaped rock for the Goron. A butt-shaped rock. Then you find out the Goron is Gormless. Not Gornless, but Gormless, yes.
Am I... Is there a gas leak? Yeah. This game is like 200 intriguing mysteries where Breath of the Wild was only like two dozen. You, you know someone's going to refute that claim, but I'm not as far in the game as you, Dave. You said you were like 80 hours-ish. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're right. It's a lot of hours. That's a lot of fucking mysteries. However, I will say if you're looking for traditional Zelda... Mm -hmm. This obviously isn't it, even if the dungeons apparently are... Oh, I need a Farosh scale. Uh, shit. Alright, I can't upgrade some of this stuff. Someone said traditional Zelda is dead. I wouldn't be so sure of that. I mean, we just got some remakes. Skyward Sword is, like, the most traditional Zelda game, but with extra steps. And we got Link's Awakening. I have a feeling they're still gonna put, like, teams on games to do stuff like Link Between Worlds in between mainline entries. To me, that just makes... I don't know, it just makes sense that they would do that. All right, chat, I'm gonna go save that Korok that I failed to save. And then we'll go for the dungeon. But apparently the dungeons are good in this, and, and better than the Divine Beasts, and are themed, which is great. But, I have said, you know, before, I love Breath of the Wild, I love this. This game probably won't make you love this style of Zelda if you already didn't like Breath of the Wild. Maybe it will if you're into, like, building shit. Maybe, um... All the quality of life stuff and all the extra additions will win you over. But, if you're not into, like... If, you know, if you're the type of gamer that just wants more Ocarina of Time. Which I think is fair. I don't think there's a problem with that, because I, I also would love a new Zelda in the classic style, but... What? Yeah, this, this game is its own, like, type of Zelda. I've said it before. You have 2D Zelda. You have 3D Zelda in the traditional sense, like Ocarina. And there's a lot of stuff that can be done, like the difference between, say, Wind Waker and Majora's Mask. It's a pretty... To me, it's a pretty hefty difference. And then you have Open World Zelda, which is obviously this. So, to me, those are three different styles right there. And within the framework of 2D and 3D, like the traditional stuff, there's there's a lot of variation. And then you have Zelda 2, which belongs nowhere. It belongs in the trash? Oh, that's the worst thing you could say in my chat room. Where's that wacky nut boy? We gotta save the nut boy. I didn't save him last time. Yeah. 
Rewind has a huge range. Oh, yeah. I always forget about that. Rewind is like a small technical marvel, if not a large technical marvel. And I've been seeing people like game developers, they're just like, yeah, that's pretty fucking amazing. One person was like, I'm just gonna give up. It's like, don't let it discourage you. It's fucking Nintendo. They have the resources to do shit like this, but I mean, it's it's amazing seeing it work. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save this lad. I'm gonna do it the right way this time, chat members. Because... This nut boy... Remember last time I, I was at this nut boy? I think it might have been day one. It was like my day one stream. And this nut lad was just... I got killed, and I never saved... I never saved him. And I marked him on my map, because I knew at some point I'd like to save the nut lad. Now, I wonder if this would work. Where... We, we put the fan so that it blows directly into the sail. I'll tell you what I'm really good at in this game, it's fucking up rewinds. You just have to stand- like, you can rewind while you're on the thing, and I always forget that. I get it. 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 Wow, that was fast. Wow, that was fast. I don't know. It, it didn't work because it was attached. You can also smack the vehicle anywhere. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but one time I broke my vehicle. How'd you get a second battery already? I just sp spent time in the mines earlier today, and then I, um... That, that was a done with intent chat, remember? Yeah. Like, I went out of my way to do that. In two days, you're going to be closer to 40, Vinny. <laughs> My birthday was the 12th. What are you, what are you getting at? Well, I guess every, every day you're closer to 40. All of us. I like getting old. That's not true at all, actually, but I don't mind it. There are pros and cons. The cons is this fucking tinnitus. 
but that also may not be directly related to aging. Um, I'm not sure. But there's also... There's also positives, too, in uh, how much you give a fuck about certain things that you used to give a fuck about. There's a wisdom that comes... That <laughs> comes like a penis. Um, sorry, there's a wisdom that comes with age. And that's something that's really worth thinking about. <laughs> Clean your brain filter, please. How much EQ do I have to put on that? Like, what's the ratio? Four to one? Five to one? How about the attack and release? <laughs> Compressor jokes. Everyone gets them. Either that's Marge talking to Homer. Or it's just the Booble Gem guy. I would, like, die for these birds. Did you like the song of Stormwind Arc? Stormwind? World of Warcraft? Yeah, we did this already. Here I am saying like, oh, I love these birds, they're so nice. And then I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't want to hear your song, sorry. Sorry, bird. Oh no, I did it again, the beds are too soft for invi and inviting. A customer? Who, who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me! Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. I'm okay. I I'm just here to save you. Hi. Full tummies make for happy Rito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made with stamino Staminoca base. Bass. Still happens, chat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is- I know the difference, and yet I can't not do it. Um, I can't leave the village... ...to catch the Staminoca bass thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything... ...else. to bent the wheat, goat butter, rock salt, but... ...if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I need the Staminoca bass. I guess I don't have one. <gasps> Welcome to the Slippery Falcon. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. The old Slippery Falcon. Hi, thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. Yeah. I don't think, uh... Well, let's see how much these things are. Hi. People are finding more caves all the time up the road east of here and on the way up the Hebra Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. <laughs> Damn, these things are expensive. Yeah. It's like all of the money I have. Is this worth it, Chad, or should I just, like, wear my...
guess it's worth it. Chat's saying it's worth it. I believe them. Eat some warm food. That's fine. Well, now I have it. God, the music is just so fucking sad. Considering how happy they were. If we'd have known when we played Wind Waker that these birds would be making us sad like this, it would have been dream of the childhood. Stalnox horn. Oh yeah, that's right, I defeated one of those. And now, that's even more powerful than a fucking diamond? Well, this is now my best weapon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and not use that for a while. How about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, which gives me an amazing idea for an invention. Problem is, I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh, it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in, a lo in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. No way! What's the stuff you've got? It's like cold jelly like white choo choo jelly. From one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it. Wahoo! It's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. I almost forgot manners. May I please have one, mister? <laughs> no. I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. Ah. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. <laughs> oh. The reason I like making arrows, it's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that would go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world-famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Sleepy time now. That is the cutest bird I've ever seen. Bird, why why are you I'm so sad for you, bird. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this by killing someone. And she just gave me free arrows. wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Huh? Is that you? Who? Am I supposed to remember you? Sorry, I don't. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you're doing well. I remember Tiba. <sighs> Very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Ah, you all keep wasting your time treating the Song of Stormwind Ark like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. 
Unbelievable. Hey, hey, Link, it's me, Fletch. Ah. Uh, Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard. He'll have no trouble. He'll have trouble hearing no. Ah. It's an old folk song here in the Rito village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down for generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Did you say far-fledged? Even the Song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme. I suspect that there's something lurking high up in the sky. The air is so turbulent that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin, well, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these Rito... These are Rito... Ma these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? What? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. Mm -hmm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping. And food has grown scarce. Every one I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm -hmm. My husband hasn't been able to leave this village since much since becoming the village elder. Mm -hmm. Wish there was something I could do. Huh. Uh, well, maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there. If you'd like to try visiting him. Hearth! Hearth! Triton! Hearth! Uh, excuse me. I just had to clear my throat. You're fond of me, lobster. Say it! I know you're fond of me, lobster! Find your lobster, but not your fats. People that haven't seen the lighthouse <laughs> who are like, what is this? What is this fucking weirdo talking about? Um, what, what was I was gonna say, I was said, said something. Oh, yeah, uh, Willem Dafoe is gonna be in Beetlejuice, which I mentioned I touched upon briefly. But he is the perfect ghoul. Like, seriously, that that is a really, really obvious casting choice. Not that he's gonna- we don't know if he's going to be like Beetlejuice's brother, like Skeetlejuice or something like that, but... But boy, I, I really hope it's good. Just... Someone... Do us all a favor and and take the pen away from Tim Burton. Just just put him in the director's chair. But you just just take the pen and pad away from him. I mean, Beetlejuice and Pee-wee's Big Adventure are two of my favorite movies of all time, and those were his first two feature films, like studio films. How the fuck do you fire on all cylinders like that right out the gate? And then, Edward Scissorhands is a movie. It's good. I mean, it's not my favorite Tim Burton. And it's weird as fuck, but I, 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 I guess I like it. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. But you know what movie is even better? Ed Wood. Burton, when he hit back in the early days, 
of his career, like, he fucking hit. So, we'll see. I mean, Beetlejuice 2... I'm not really sure... I'm not sure how I feel it's gonna go. But you know Keaton is full commitment. Even at his age. But he's like... Oh. Um... He's like reprising his role as, um... Batman? And, uh... In fact... <laughs> the marketing of the new Flash movie is, like, almost all Batman. Because, you know... You know. <clears throat> but also, I think it's kind of smart. I don't know how much Michael Keaton is going to be in that movie, but I feel like... I do feel like he's always just amazing. And, and I, I do expect him to uh, do a fantastic job. But I'm pretty sure they smoothed his face. Like, I'm pretty sure they're de-aging him. But Beetlejuice, like, he's like a, a an old ghoul. And he's already got, like, crusty cock makeup on, so I feel like... I feel like he's probably gonna be, um... ...fine for that, despite his age. No need for makeup? No, no, they'll put the makeup on him, but I, I think the amount of makeup that Beetlejuice usually has on his face anyway... ...is going to be enough that they don't need to, like, do any computer fuckery. Like, I, he'll be... It, it'll just, it'll work. What is cock makeup? No, no, no nothing like... No, it's just like, he's, he's just a smeg, smegmatic. It's like green smegma on his face. It's fucking gross. Chat, don't act surprised, like, Beetlejuice isn't a crusty, like, cock goblin man from the underworld. Vinny, I'm eating hot dogs, please stop. Alright. I can't argue with that. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see- Could you imagine me reading this? Like, completely... ...stone-faced after that thing I just said? Uh, anyway, uh, so keep these bonfires going as beacons for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even up from up in the air. As proud of them as I am, they can't beat the spotlight set up around the fancy Skyview Tower. Mm -hmm. We gotta get that tower. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Actually, we could do that first. I see a way for this to happen somewhat easily. Or I did. Uh, I thought there was a thing that fell. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Oh! How high up does this go? Pretty fucking high up. Here. 
Something stupid is gonna happen here. It's gonna be locked or something. Oh, actually, no. You know what it is? The, it's, it's just thorns. Yeah, waste rubies. Yeah. You can throw? Oh, yeah. Someone just said, should I get the game? I feel like chat member only you can answer that question. No, no chat member or I will tell you to get the game. You have to, you have to figure that out. If it looks good, then sure. And guess what? I think it's as good as it looks. Let's hope you get $70 burning a hole in your pocket. Uh, speaking from personal experience, though, I can't stop playing the game. I don't know if you could tell. Like I said, I want my life back, but I don't. I really, I really don't need it. I'm content to live in Hyrule for a couple months. stick. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Oh, yeah. Once again, uh, I've been sidetracked. As is prophesized. It is written, only Link will Defeat Ganon eventually. But first, a mini game. See any nut lads up here? I gotta 
a beast down that way. I've fought a couple of those by now. Well, this is convenient. Now we have a warp up here if we need it. E Ijo O Shrine. You need something before you can be up here. Okay. Well, we have a warp. That's nice. Obviously not. <laughs> well, no, maybe there's something else that's going on up here. I don't know. But I'm going back down to talk to that bird. Okay, this is rockets and flame emitters. I got 18 rockets. That's a good amount of rockets to have. <laughs> Vinny, you have an English degree. Have you ever ventured over into reading philosophy? Yeah, I, I got one philosophical axiom that I'd like to share upon you. Live fast, eat ass. That's my philosophy. I think I'm like, well read. How did they even get that noise out of the voice actor? That was probably one of those weird takes, and they were just like, nah, keep it, it's good. They squeezed him. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo just squeezed him. Stone slab shield? <laughs> yeah, of course. the slab. Do you see what happens here? It's small on Link's back, and then it gets big. That's fun.
Got some rocket stuff here. Oh, this is... I mean... You, you know what we could do. And it wouldn't be particularly difficult to do it. However... Before we wily e. Coyote this fucking solution, I'm gonna try something a little different. Remember when Johnny Knoxville rode a red rocket? And it exploded like, what, like two feet away from his groin? And then he gets off and he's like, Whoa, whoa almost died! That's the worst Johnny Knoxville impression anyone could do. But you know what I mean. He just laughs. He sounded like Krusty the Clown. Yeah, Krusty Knoxville. <laughs> Do you know, you know his nickname in college, right? It was Cock. Anyway, that's another shrine solved. You know what the worst part about this game is? Is that it released in the summer. Well, the spring. Into summer. Like, this would have been better for the winter. Because then I have a reason to just stay home. Like, now the weather's nice and shit, I wanna go, like, do stuff. But then I'm like, no, Zelda. And sure, I could play this outside, but remember, I'm streaming it. And that changes... the way I play the game. Because if I'm streaming it... I don't want to make too much progress without having it being recorded. Play it outside at a rooftop party. That's the intent. It's fine, I'll still get my exercise in. I'll still do my walks and bike stuff. It's gonna be fine. Stone talus hammer. I wonder if you can use a stone phallus in this game to defeat the stone talus. I'm sorry this stream is just, like, cock jokes. I don't know what's going on. Like, there's problems in my- in my brain. Again, it's the fucking Norm Macdonald thing. It's just a funny word. Especially, like, the way he says it. Said it. I don't even know what he was saying. I'll have this spear I don't even know what to do with. Uh, okay, okay. Well, but you know what? Maybe we could... Uh, I don't want to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Could pay as well. Hmm. Yeah. 
I don't know. That's fine then. We'll, we'll just do that. Is this treasure chest gonna have a sword thing in it? Oh no, okay, good. Vinny, do you think your constant penis jokes are why you only have 3,600 viewers instead of your usual 5,000 plus? Yeah, that's the reason. Rude chat member. No, I don't think they're rude. I think they're... I think they just don't want to hear cock jokes. And it's their loss, really. I get it. I get it. But listen. This happens with any game. When I'm not doing as much variety, and people are playing... Everyone's playing the same game. I think something like uh, a lowered viewer count is kind of bound to happen. If I was more concerned about, like, viewer numbers, I probably wouldn't be playing this right now. That's my best guess. And yes, it's nice to, you know, like, Sunday streams get nice viewer numbers, that's cool and everything. But it's, it's not exactly, like, my life's goal, or, like, you know, it's not something tied to my self-worth. So, but regardless, this one's for me. Like, me playing Tears of the Kingdom is 100% is for me. This is the happiest I've been playing a game since... Donkey Kong Country 3, I would say, at least. No, since Elden Ring. I joke about DKC3. I didn't I didn't hate it. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It's just an easy joke to make at this point because of the way the way I played the game and then did this like bitter rare developer. Yeah, mate, we put him in the water! Get my water level! Reverse it! What is this stuff? We find these strange things at the foot of the Hebron Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can, uh, can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. Probably hurt if you get hit with one, huh? Oh, I've got all I'm going to get out of those things, so if you want some of them, if you want them, they're yours. Link is like, I will take everything. Thank you, this is mine now. Beautiful, thank you. This is my. What would you say about all the BS in DKC1 if you played it for the first time nowadays? I'd be less tolerant. Trust me, when I do those minecart levels, I rage. Like, I, I also do the voice and get upset. But, you know, I just... I think... Nostalgia aside, I feel like DKC1 is at least more consistent. But, yeah, if I didn't grow up with it, I'd... I'd yeah, it would be kind of... It would be a rage fest one way or another. Link, you're alright. I, I was worried about you after I heard that you'd gone missing. What happened? Hmm. Uh. Arm gesture tells me everything I need to know. So you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you, I haven't heard anything about her. Her feathers are full dealing with more media problem. Everyone in the village has left to scavenge for food and to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampering, uh, hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin can help. <laughs> 
All right, you weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. <clears throat> even in this, even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him, at least. Last I saw him, he was with the Gessene? With Gessene and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebra, Hebra, Hebra South Summit Cave, and that's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Hey, I ain't tooling around here. Trying to break the shield. You can't in snow or sand. Oh, I see. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What's happening up there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, oops. I hadn't expected to meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. Don't you know how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep us uh, keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Ah. If you go farther up the slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. <sighs> they keep a bonfire stoked at that cave entrance to mark their location. Ice Keys Eyeball. That's new. No, you don't. Oh, we get some ice fruit. Feathered Edge. I'll write those. They're all degraded. I kind of love how busted Ascend is. Pinecone. Yeah, yeah, Pinecone is the usual... ...solution, but... I kind of also like doing shit like this. Sometimes you can just find the exact right spot. Obviously not this time. It kind of looked like there was a way to do it, but I guess not. All right, no worries. We got a pine cone right here. Ascend was originally a dev tool that they used to keep from having to backtrack the caves all the time. They just decided to add it into the game. No shit, that's confirmed.
Uh, I don't know if there's a source for- that is confirmed, says another chat member. Two chat members have confirmed it, chat. It's real. We made it up. This story is fiction. My name is Jonathan Frakes, and I made it up. It's from an interview. No, I, be I actually do believe that. That makes sense. Man, I'm just so happy they left it in the game. Guess it just kind of became Mission Impossible. Yeah, I don't know if it would work, but... No. Thinking, thinking. Almost. Hear me out on this one, chat. There's a ceiling. Hmm. Okay, that's that's not what I expected up here. Um There is no descend <laughs> ability. <laughs> Want a hint? Uh, no, not yet. Hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Was that it then? Okay, well, my solution was, like, fucking fifth-dimensional galaxy shit. Turns out it was just a button. In the form of a laser. I think I just made a wharf noise. Like, that's the noise a uh, wharf makes when he gets, like, stabbed in combat. In combat. Why do I- why did I do that? I- I tried to slide underneath it. Like a tactical slide. I had to think about that for a second. I had to actually... Like, that was my way of thinking. Just kind of... freezing the game for a second. You can use a scent. I waited until it went to the end and jumped through the lasers. Oh, you, you did a, uh, an Ethan Hunt. What does Light of Blessing do again? Um, four of them gives you a heart, or four of them gives you extra stamina, your choice. In whatever order you want to upgrade. White chew jelly, huh? What a disaster. I came all this way to scrounge mushrooms and now this. I'll never get to the deep part of this cave with a messed up wing. Chill shrooms grow all over this cave, so I figured it would be a prime spot for scavenging a little food, but cold water is built up in here now. I can't pick up any chill shrooms without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings would take me right over a little pond like this, but I hurt my wing in a small scrap with monsters. I don't see how I could fly over the pond in this condition. The worst part is... I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I'd bring back even more chill shrooms than last time. If I don't come back with at least ten of them, there will be egg on my face. Collect ten boar asses. Never mind, then. Yeah, we don't have Cryonis anymore, remember?
That wasn't cryo jelly. Oh, it wasn't? What do I throw then? Also, Breath of the Wild seems a little quaint in comparison. Because one of the abilities was just make ice cube. Oh, I see what I threw. Yeah, that was... I mean, it was still useful. It was cool. It was, you know, puzzles and stuff, but... Conjure bomb? Throw ice cube. Make ice cube. Is there no boobell in this cave? Where's my boy boobell? Oh man, I don't have something that can smash. I have something that can smash. that wall. Um, do you need a hint? I was going to ascend. I just didn't know if it'd be worth it. This is a long one. Oh, man. No boobles up here. I don't know, chat. Brain not big enough. Uh, where's Booble Frog? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't spoil yet. Hang on. We, we, you might not need to. Whoa. Whoa. An icicle. As a sword now. Wait, will it melt? <laughs> um, okay, chat, I don't know where the booble frog is. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Go near water? Directly above you. Look up. up. Oh! Wow, look at that! I did ascend, but I ascended too far and, and not into this room. Yeah. 
That's how I got them. It's real brave of you. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, why don't I give you this? Oh. This isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools of freezing water. Be careful. Are, are we... I guess we're ascending further. You can feed the booble fruit to get the gem. Wait, really? No, I made that up. God damn it. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna try anyway. Tulin of Rito. Oh, I have to go back to Tulin, right? No. No. You have to find him. Um, okay. Well, we're looking. Gonna fall off this mountain. Great noises you got there, Link. Yaha fucking ha, everybody. Let's see if we can do first throw. Well, if this isn't the best way to find the bird, I don't know what is. Well, there's an enemy in there, huh? I forgot I had this. Imagine that! Imagine being freed... ...from an icicle... ...and then you're just flamethrowered to death. That's- that's a fucking shit way to go. Every cell in your body has been turned into jelly because of the- the piercing effects of the ice. Is this a yahaha moment? No. Why did this tree have, like, a wrap around it? I think you just defaced a landmark. Yeah, I think I might have. Damn. It's 
Stupid monster. Ah, oh, Link, where'd you come from? What happened? Oh, you see, the, that rotten monster took my good bow. See that bow napper? That's the bow napper. You gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Really, thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where the monster went. Just tell me where you want the gust, and I'll make it for you. Bursts of speed while paragliding. No shit. Do it. Do it. No. I don't think I utilized that all that well, but whatever. Where is it? There it is. Key swing. Someone just said in chat, gusting makes me feel good. Plus two to that chat member, really. I mean, that that's good. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Ruh roll. There's more of them. Alright, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. Look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh? Hmm? Was that the wind? It, oh, it couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oh, Tula and Link. Huh? Oh. You little shit. Where'd you get off to? She was a tall drink of water. And I was a clam chowder. Blade Runner. Uh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Ah, oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I, I didn't listen when Gasani tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged. Hey, Link! Ah, it's, oh, it's me, full-fledged! Oh, I've been working out! But there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. I bet you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah, uh -huh. you were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Hmm. Is that... All there is to the story. Seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah, funny story about that. There's this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. What? Princess Zelda flew up above the cloud. How could that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but... We're not going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Sitting around uh -huh. here. Tulin. Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Ah. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. <sighs> I want to see it for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way th in is through the top, but... 
There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Michael Jordan. Uh. Michael Jordan said that? Oh. Yep. And I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time for you to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. <laughs> no problem, the two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up in the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there for our first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Oh man, arrow re-up. Needed that. I mean, it's- it's fine. It's no Rivali's Gale. I mean, the distance is nice, though. I'm sure you can use it better than I just did. Rivali's Gale was legit overpowered. Oh, absolutely. Nothing will be as good as Rivali's Gale. <laughs> It was so fucking good. In fact, I got that way too late. Like, I remember playing that game, and I got Rivali's Gale like, pretty far into my playthrough, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure someone ex knows exactly when I got it, but... I always said to myself, if I played the game again, I would just get a couple hearts and then go straight for um, Rivali's Gale. Dairy Spindle was also pretty good. Yup, pretty good. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. There's a lot of arrow waste there, but... Hell yeah. It's like watching Star Wars Episode One: The Goongas vs. the Battle Droids. Man, I love these flame emitter shields. Didn't Elden Ring also have a shield that um, had like a face on it that shot fireballs? It wasn't the same thing, but there's something.
baby, baby boy. Chad, I know there's a cheese here. I know it. I can I can sense the cheese, but I don't know where it is exactly. It's gonna be here. It's just, it, it has to be, yeah, exactly like... It's gotta be like a pixel-perfect exact spot that exists. Another interesting noise that Link makes. Well... I spent all this time looking for a cheese and we're just gonna go up there the legit way, so... Whatever. Me at least one. Yeah, there we go. That's what I should have done from the start. Tulin is actually doing some, some combat maneuvers here. Which I've noticed. It's not like a timed escort underwater mission, it's actually like... The lad helps. It's, it's really cool. Like, Tulin's useful. Uh, if only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you come here, that means... Oh. Yep, they said I could go up there. Oh. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique ever since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Bong. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching your, for your return. Thanks, between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Pretty cool noise it makes, too. Come here, Tula. What are you doing? What are you doing, boy? I need you over here. Boy, this voice comes out a lot when I play this game. I'll tell you what, I don't even know why. Is there a better way to do this? You can- oh, mid-air you can do it? Really? Oh, that, that makes it way more useful than I thought. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Fuck, it's so good! Coming here first was a good idea. In the back of my mind, I remembered the Rivali's Gale thing that I said earlier about Breath of the Wild. And I know the game kind of like guides you here first because the um the new the news is here hey. link it was around here i saw princess zelda mm. but now i don't know where she could have gone hmm what is that <laughs> it's the king of sky lions Chat, don't. To me. Whose voice was that? Is it coming from somewhere up there? <gasps> Whew. Do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge! There's tons of little flying boats, too. Do you know what that reminds me of? Let me guess, the song? Mm. A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward, the god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. The shit don't rhyme. The whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. Was that children's song true, after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? I I'm sure I heard it say, Come to me. Ah. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Huh. Nowhere to go but up. Well, this is neat. Oh! <laughs> Oh, shit. Nope. Have you noticed that the shrines look like the goatsies? No. Downward force. Uh. There we go. I was expecting to fly the boat. And then I found out it just got a bouncy sail on it. I see. That's fun. And you also get, um, full stamina. 
when you land on one of the things there. If Aonuma just advertised the game's new features by saying boat jumping, do you think people still would have bought the game? Like, he just smiles, and he just says, boat jumping. Nope. Well, how about this? Okay, because the Zelda name would sell the game anyway, right? What about if he named the game boat jumping? Same game, just called boat jumping. I think people might get a little confused, no? That probably hurts. chat found other ways to solve that. I guess maybe you shoot an arrow through the, uh, bars? Someone said, Vinny, I kind of miss the aesthetics of the old shrines. Chat member, I... I have a, a response. However, please don't take this like I'm being a jerk. But what I wanted to say was, well, there's like over 120 of them in the previous game, so you could just play that instead. That was the first thing that came to mind, and then I said, I'm not going to say that without a disclaimer, because that sounds like scummy. So there you are. Streamer Psycho Man, please! Fucking Christ, this guy is terrible! But no, really, I... Um... I guess I understand, but you know, you get... You get attached to a certain game's aesthetic, and then the next game comes along and it changes some stuff. I get why you'd be... You compare one to the other. I like the new aesthetic a little bit better. But I also am... I'm sick of the old aesthetic as well, so... Vinny, you always get stunlocked by a mild complaint. Chat member, I believe that's just called conversation. This isn't like some 10 hour long political stream where so someone says you, you look smelly. You know, sometimes I read chat messages, and I may disagree with the opinion, but I want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know if that's stunlocked. I'm still playing the game. Oh, fuck. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Worth it for this nut boy. Yeah. 
Oh man, that's good. Vinny, did you get sent any more fucked up pizzas? I have some fucked up pizzas. Yeah. Why are you stopping in midair to use the wind? I don't know. I thought I had to. Uh, I'll see what... Maybe I can stop doing that. Uh, hey, Nut Boy, how'd, how'd you get up here anyway? Talk to him on the ground to use it? You know, I bet there's a real easy way to do this with rockets and a balloon. Oh, like that, yes. Doesn't work at this height, really? Leave it to me. <laughs> Balloons work fine at this height. Vinny, it was Japes. Vinny, it was not Japes. Vinny, you went in a circle. I know, it was the- it's the Nut Boy's fault. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. <laughs> Dude, I was farming bows. Stole my kill. Gotta have to toss me. Gotta have to toss me. Is that a rip? God damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. What time is it? Two minutes lost. Just teleport to the temple. I guess I could have. This is a little bit closer. Ah, I didn't get the kill steal this time. Oh, I need that one. What the fuck?
Look at that. It won't let you drop Zonai devices, chat. Any device. It should. Game won't let you cook. <laughs> Did you see that uh, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul are in Always Sunny, the new season? I don't think it aired yet, but they're like, it's part of the uh, advertising. You can't drop pieces too close to the edge. Uh, oh yeah, now you can, now you can do it. It's interesting. It's not a cheeseless area, chat. Looks dumb, but it, it it'll work. You may not use that. Construct bow, is that the shitty one? Yeah. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Bird! Air, now! Yeah, bird kill. Bird kill. Oh, I got it. Wait, that actually auto collect?
Thank you, arrows. This is a game where 10 arrows is actually a good thing. And yes, we do have a 10 arrows emote in chat. It's a long story if you're new here. I know there's at least two of you. Maybe three. Secret. I mean, really, what what is this like what is this doing here? Thanks, bird. Good bird. Look at that bird get critical hit. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, bird! is fucking cracked, as they say. That's not part of my vernacular. Even though it was the first word that came to mind. So I don't think I'm allowed to say stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this bird some seeds. Very old map. Please enjoy. Northern Lion says it. You're good. All right. If Ryan can say it, then I'm I'm all right. Uh, what kind of seed do you think Bird would like? Tree nut. You want this? You want you want this? I'm just sad that the bird didn't want the seed. What do you think of the minimalist OST? Um... I think it 
fits the game. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't want some of those fucking memorable Zelda melodies. Or at the very least, that type of melody and song. Like the ones we get in Ocarina. I don't even know what I'm doing, or why I'm doing this. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't have any, I don't have anything there. There was no cooking. That was just, I don't know, bouncy. We draw nearer, chat. I mean, this would be the spot to do some cooking, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Oh, even that has its limit. Oh, fuck. The blood moon. Wow! I was like, what the fuck is that for a second? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said the music or whatever this ambient stuff is that we're hearing didn't add to the whole vibe of this place and the atmosphere of it. Especially with the blood moon rising like that. Shoot. Nice bird, good job. Hell yeah. Bird power. Whoa. Oh, the blood moon is risen. Looks kind of amazing from up here, doesn't it? The poor bird is very scared right now, I think. When the glow of the Okay. 
Throw it at me. Go ahead. Oh, that's a time bomb club? Chat, my membership to the time bomb club was revoked years ago. love the strings on this musical piece. Reminds me of um, The Shining. Like fucking sinister. Who said balloons don't work up here? Well, shit. Could have used charges, but oh shit! No, wrong button. Wrong but button. But this is free. You can use campfires to heat the balloons. I gotta be amazing. This this whole sequence has has been. Wait, did I say I gotta be amazing? I gotta be honest. This whole sequence is amazing. I caught myself mid error. I don't usually do that, huh? But um, well, sometimes I do, I guess. But no, you're you're breathtaking, chat. Stop. 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 No, no. Uh What what am I looking at? This is my first time flying this hot Did I accidentally place Link in front of the camera? The air is pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Oh.
Kahatanam. I went here, and when I was doing this part, I just had a big fat grin on my face the entire time. It's so fun. It, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. And again, it's not that you're just, like, ascending and bouncing. It's just the fucking atmosphere of the place is so weird. Oh, free shrine. I love when Ra Rube gives you a free thing. You ever get that phantom sensation of feeling footprint rhythms on the floor behind you? Huh? I think chat member just invented a new sentence. Oh no, 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 that's just doing the nothing to <gasps> worry about. You're just haunted. Clearly. You came back haunted. Ha, uh, ha, uh, haunted. Fuck, I hope that's enough gust. Yeah, it should be. New music. Clearly flying against the wind right now. This is one of the most like creative sequences I've I've seen in a video game in a long time, and in Zelda, just in the Zelda franchise in general. I don't want to be too hyperbolic about it because I've only yet have just played it. Okay, I'm not. Gaining altitude. You can really see, like, they've established the groundwork with Breath of the Wild. And not having to recreate Hyrule entirely, to me, just means that they... They just had all this creativity. It's just like... All this room to just play around with all this stuff. That's, that's my thought on this. Also, I was thinking, maybe this is obvious, but if it wasn't... The way the map is being used here reminds me a lot of what they did with Link Between Worlds. Obviously also very different, but just using the same Hyrule. Like, it's it's been done before. I, I don't know why I didn't make that connection until recently, but... This is... This is kind of challenging. I'm sure someone... Oh, crackles? I'm sure someone has found a way to cheese this. Why are we getting crackles?
because I said cracked earlier. Oh man, payback, I guess. That's um, what's the word? Hang on, there's another, there's another Gen Z word. Uh. Oh, what the fuck is the word? This is beautiful, by the way. Holy shit. Scuffed. It's, yeah, scuffed. Try as I might, I just can't implement that into my vocabulary, and I'm sure some of you are probably happy about that. Oh, this, this is, this is so fucking cool, chat. Skyward Sword wishes it was this. Oh man. This reminds me of my favorite moments in Skies of Arcadia. And really, really good music, too. And we got dungeons back. It's like a classic Zelda dungeon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be listening to the soundtrack. Kind of, sort of, not entirely. Well, I mean, theming-wise, at least. Let's find out, though. Let's find out. I don't want to uh, jump the gun. So this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the Stormwind arc from the kids' song. Huh? Zeld? Hawk. What the? <laughs> that proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Hmm. Weird, I could swear they were just here. I don't think I've said what the heck since I was three. Just caught myself. Yeah, I learned to speak at one. My first words were, Hey, Link. It looks like it shut tight, but the source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. Isn't there some way we can get it open? Down. There it is again. Brave fledgling. Hey, Link. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. <laughs> Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Heed my words. Okay, I heard it for sure this time. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's just figure out how to open up those locks.
there is actually a Skyward Sword. Like, I, I shit on Skyward Sword a little bit, but the truth is I actually really like the dungeons in that game a lot. But... This reminds me of a Skyward Sword dungeon. Yeah, a little. I shit on it a little bit. Not a lot. I wouldn't have played through the whole remake if I hated it. I think it's a better game than people give it credit for. And the remake made- well, not remake. The HD release, whatever, made it easier to play. But... Yeah, it's, um... It's got some great dungeons and, and like, the sky stuff is all real cool. I like sky things. And there's the boat. Remember the boat? And there was the time travel sand boat. Are you a skyhead? I don't know. My favorite... Okay, so my favorite game is Chrono Trigger, as you know. And Zeal is all floating sky islands. So yeah, that's my favorite part of that game. I love Skies of Arcadia. Not as much as Lythero, but pretty, pretty close. It's got some problems, but it doesn't stop me from loving that game. It could use, that could use a remake. Vinny, you like Top Gun. I do, yes. I think everyone that... Everyone from the 80s loved Top Gun. And lo I love birds. I do love birds. Yeah, birds are... Pretty, pretty great. Oh, that was cool. Hey, look at that. Is this for one of the locks? It kind of shaped like a windmill. It's a good thing I can break wind. Twilight Princess had that really cool sky dungeon, too. Minish Cap had a sky dungeon. But, um, the fucking sky area, I'll never forget the music as long as I live. And the fucking weird Aku things. Weird sky chickens with nipples. Like what what was the team on? Sky area and Minish Cap had the best music. I don't rem you know what? Don't remember the Minish Cap music. Sorry to say. But traditionally, sky things in Zelda games have been quite good. Definitely a fan. And Skyward Sword... Even though it gets, like I said, a little bit of a bad rap. I love Skylands. I wish there was, like, more in the sky, like, to do and places to go to. I feel like there were some missed opportunities there. Oh, 
But it doesn't stop me from enjoying it, nonetheless. Like, the music is pretty cool when you're flying around. There's like a clown with pumpkins. It's... it's fun. But I totally understand why people aren't into Skyward Sword. There's a lot in that game that can... Like, I didn't remember it, and then the remaster came out. Again, let's just call it re-release. They barely did anything to it, aside from controls and some, like, uh, resolution upscaling. But it reminded me that, um, oh, and 60 FPS was nice, too. Um, it reminded me of why the game had gets shit on, but also reminded me of why I loved it the first time. And I will forever hold that Skyward Sword is a, is a good game. In fact, I'd, I'd argue it's a great game that could have been better with a little bit of restraint and some just... just... cut out, like... some of the repetition. You're alone on that? Guarantee you I'm not. I guarantee you there are people that love Skyward Sword. Like, I like it and think it's actually really good. I wouldn't say I love it. But there are people that... Chad is saying right now, there are people that love it, you know? So, different strokes for different folks. Hell, there are people that love Spirit Tracks. I have no interest in playing that game ever again. I also happen to love Zelda too, even if I would very much acknowledge that that game is flawed and stinky. map isn't 3D. But we get different levels, much like... Um... Zelda maps of yore. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely better than a Divine Beast so far. Just in- it- theming alone? But... I guess we'll see if the puzzles and the, uh, the actual content of the dungeon is any good. Thought I heard the Imperial March for a second. Same key. Generally the same scale. I know there's a way in there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Holy shit!
Cool. Guess not. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there, too. Then it's just a weapon. Oh, you're right. Large zoanite. There we go. Do it. So good, it's so good. No real reason to do that, it seems. Doesn't matter. I loved it. Didn't know you could do that. What the fuck? Hey, neither did I. That's why I tried it. I wonder if someone had to say, hey, listen, that's a little too close to the Imperial March. You know, one of the best pieces of, of score ever written, maybe, for a movie. I were just like, nah, leave it. It's gonna be a lot closer this time, chat. You know, I thought I pressed the button. Turns out I really didn't. Again, no reason to do that, but that's fine. That would be awesome if that was another way inside there. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. get in here now.
For the record, I have no idea what I was hoping to accomplish. But I can see that you climb up there. So we have to get to a lower level of this airship. That's saved! Oh, no! Go well on a shield for defense chat of the stuff I have. And do you think? Like a banana, a toenail, a shield. Yeah, well, yeah. Meat. Probably none of this. Oh well. I happen across something great. <laughs> a toenail. I don't want to put a toenail on my shield. You know what? I'm I'm sorry I asked that question. last time I played this game. And now I have 146. That's a relief. Use Ultra Hand for box breaking. Okay. Child Bird. Shoot. Now this just sounds like tubular bells. Well, if you're a fan of The Exorcist and Star Wars, this is the game for you. Ruby. Huh. 
Shortcut open. Like 20 something hours in, I'm still pressing L to change weapons. That's an easier way to do that without wasting weapon power. Chat member was right. <laughs> Wait, can I put that on a shield? I can put that exact thing on the shield. And I don't need this. We're here now. Someone used a fan. That's one way to do it. So many different solutions. Okay. Put the slab on vertically and then got Tulin to blast it. That's fucking awesome. New music. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. Um, I've got one, two down in the in the basement there. Someone just said they want to deep fry that. Never mind. I guess we can't go back in there.
But he's, he's a really good bird. It's like a really good bird. Nice bird. So it's on the other side of this wall, is one of them. And then there's one over here, too. Looks like you approach that one from lower. But wait a minute. What's up here? Yeah, it's just a sorry nothing. Okay, it was worth a look. Just checking to see if I missed anything. So that's that's there. That leads there. And that's there. figure it out, chat. I, I don't really want to know the answer to this one. I think I want to just figure this one out. Huh? Just being thorough right now and checking all my areas. There's one of those things that I really enjoy in Zelda games is figuring out something that you've been bashing your head against for a while. I 
mean, in Zelda 1, it was just a lot of... Bomb the wall, maybe you'll find something. I guess Rapal doesn't remember that far. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're back here again. And the only clue I have is that metal grate that I got. So I don't really know what the purpose of this is, but... Uh, maybe, maybe... Maybe there's something. Check in here again. It kind of feels like maybe I have to enter from the top area, but... I mean, it, that's what it... That's what it looks like to me. I was up there. That's where I blew up the turret. At least I think it is. No, this is this is not where I blew up the turret. Never mind. This is a separate place. What do you know? Here's one. No! Okay, one remains. Music is even more intense now. Looks like there's an opening there. Maybe we could try that. I'm just afraid of the size of our opening! Did I, I miss something? This is the Va Meadow theme? I forget these things, I don't know.
Oh. Excuse me. I'm hearing some of the, the Rito arrangement. Looks like it's that one, chat. I don't know. Vinny, please. I don't know what... I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, chat. I don't know. I'm looking at the map. Maybe it... That one. Yep, it's that one. We're good, we're good, we're good. We did it! Kind of, we're not there yet. Those icicles are melting because of the fucking fire. Bird is best friend. At this point, there's no other friend in the world that Link needs. I missed the treasure chest in the previous room, I was told. <laughs> Past the meat grinder. That's my favorite part of airships, is the meat grinder section.
Uh. They slide. I wonder what time it is. Time to cook. Jessup. Ow. That? What? Oh, this isn't cooking. This is, this is shit. Fine, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I got it, Chad. I got it. I got it, chat. I thought maybe I could like crouch in there. But clearly this was the uh, this was the probably the best way to do it. This is like a monkey using tools. Yep, they're tools, chat. They're tools. I only had to- uh, oh yeah, like a crow as well. Um, I only had to stab Link like five times to get that to work. But. Notice the lack of music as well. Just kind of stopped. the whole time? Cole Gera. What kind of toothpaste is this? That thing must be what's causing the blizzard! I'm just so happy it's not a Phantom Ganon. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. 
and went into the sphere of fear. Shit. Not yet, not yet, almost. Just the thing to help. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Too cold. Hey, clear of those tornadoes. Be careful. Did you hurt my bird? gimmick did I ignore? There are other ways to kill him. You beat him completely different from me. You skipped an entire attack phase. You can skydive through the ice and weak points. And I missed the best part of the song. Ah, oh, fuck. I killed him on using only skydiving, says a chat member. No shit. You don't, like, take damage for, like, you know, skydiving headfirst through it? It's ice? No? Oh, wow, okay. Well, I have to listen to the song separately or something. But yeah, I, I kind of... At this point... Kind of, oh, frame rates. What are you doing, frame rates? Um, I kind of really wish... I got a chance to do the skydiving thing. I just... <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't want to... I mean, I already beat the guy. You'll get other chances. If there's another chance at some point, I'll try it that way. But yeah, that was a cool boss. I mean, it's... It's better than what we were getting in Breath of the Wild. A little easy, but that voice. you know. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us. I also kind of did it my own way. Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king, 
I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought it could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden, I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoned... Metal Gear. War, ...and the mission our people must accomplish. Years ago, when the Kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Rauru entrusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. Are they gonna make a game about this now? King Rauru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning lore. DLC? No, it's just gonna be like another Hyrule Warriors. The rest of us survived that climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future. Of the Rito. You know what they should do? Do a Zelda kart racing game to explain this story. It was another of the six sages. The Sage of Time. Boy, Zelda just be time the traveling. Will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. The Bene Gesserit is just seeding legends. With the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. No, he's got a mask on. Chad, he's got a mask on, you and see? Now, you know about now he's a spirit war. here, but the over there was the mask. accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. you saved Rito the Village, King of course. will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King. Fight. He's fighting. With the Swordsman, Link. So it's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? Link! This is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is gonna be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this! I'll happily take this secret stone! Crackle. This is- this is a new problem. This, this crackling? I am the Sage of Wind! Look! Check out 
what I can do now. Look what I can do. Uh, you, you can send out your spirit. Blink. Hold out your hand. I, Tulin, the Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. Take this. It's proof that I'm with you. Let go of my hand, please. This is weird. Stop. Hurts. Like Link's fucking weird demon hand and his fingernails. I don't. I don't man. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> you can use that ring to call on my power anytime. All right. Well, we're not okay. summon summoning dead That's birds anymore. At least. We're letting the dead rest for once. Well, you know what's going to happen. At some point, there's going to be Rise of the Sky Waker. Or the Wind Waker. Rise of, rise of the Wind Waker. And it's going to be like, the dead speak. I'm just happy I saved the birds. <sighs> Speaking of the dead speak, that's a rebel icon. I know that's been mentioned before, but mentioning it again. I see Korok. Oh. You guys did it. <laughs> Turns out it was easy once we started working together. Mm. Mm. We earned the music. It's back. This was no small feat. Yeah, you got some big ass feet. I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. Well, me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. I like this bird song. It's a good bird. bird song. Hmm. For a job well done, Tulin. Huh. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you, and now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It was always my intention to give it to you once you came of age as a warrior. A warrior. Ah, <sighs> a warrior's weapon. Dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll prove to you I've become a warrior worthy of carrying it. Hmm. Hey, Link. That woman in the vision my ancestor showed us, didn't she look just like Princess Zelda to you? Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. Hmm. There's still a bunch of unanswered questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw on the Stormwind Ark, so I'm gonna go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? And remember, with my sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what.
Well, that was just charming and wonderful. How do I use this shit? It deactivates inside towns. Oh. It's all nice here again. Let's hope they don't make another sequel to this game. Because they're going to have to find new and innovative ways to ruin the piece here. Chat, doesn't that kind of look like a condom? The Ascend Hole? Oh, it's Neck. When the blizzard drove off most of the adults, the kids hung in there and kept things going. That includes the shops. Can't express enough how much we owe the little ones. They're the saviors of this village. This is the armor shop, Raisin Beak. I'm happy to say we're open for business. Was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village, everyone in the village was happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over, so thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. I'm just stretching, chat. I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock weathered and green, wreathed in green light inside of it, just like the one beneath the general store. Where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. Yeah, there were mushrooms in it, pond with fish. It would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. Oh. Ah. We call that Vabmido's perch. Mm. Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. It's getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when this dawn was breaking. I looked to the west and saw a white bird. Okay. Uh. It's just so much easier to get up here now. Why is it taking so long? What the fuck? We're looking west. For a, a white bird? <laughs> At dawn.
Yeah, it's not dawn. But I guess we'll see. I kind of see like a, a, a bird eye. Yeah, I can. I can kind of see it. Let me. I don't know if I'm standing in the right spot, but. This is definitely not the right spot. Shadow? Oh. Oh! Oh! That's very cool. I was looking in the wrong spot. That was the that's the bird. Hey, there's no Korok there. Hylian tomato. Melpert. That was a pretty, uh, unique nut boy. Okay, we're no longer in a town. How do I activate boost power? You got boost power! Land? Oh, okay, I see. It didn't even, like, activate yet. Okay. Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Kind of creepy. There's a Korok in the eye. All right, well, let's get it now because I'm gonna probably end up using a send to get out of here. He fights alongside you too. Well, this is definitely different than the powers in. Previous Zoraldo.
Oh, wow. What? Oh. <laughs> wow, shrine. Would you recommend this game to an alcoholic French-Canadian man? No, I'd recommend Toast. Maybe French Toast. Don't do that. This was the intended solution. There we go. I glued it without even realizing. And that time, I hath not suffered the pain of defeat. Chat, there's no treasure chest up there, right? Like, that would be a waste of time if I went up there. I have to yoke. Here we go. I have yoded. Good. Got it. See, two different types of good. That was a genuine good. And when the cube hit me and I got, um, pushed down into the pit, that was good. Very, very important difference. Oh, shit.
<clears throat> strong knees. Anyway, I really like that dungeon. <clears throat> Getting to the dungeon felt like part of the dungeon in a uniquely Breath of the Wild way. The music, the, the, the whole theming of it was great. Like, okay, so obviously this game doesn't have a hook shot and like dungeon item, but I liked what I did on that dungeon better than the Divine Beasts just because it felt more like classic Zelda and you're still using the tools that you have to like get through it. So the dungeon itself wasn't overly long. But like I said, yeah, the getting to it was in and of itself a puzzle. So I just wish the boss was a little bit more difficult, but I might have gone a little hard with the arrows. So. Otherwise, yeah, I love that. I thought that was great. It's just, I get why it would be tricky to have an item requirement, but you know what? I think it actually could work, like, a, an optional hookshot, instead of a mandatory hookshot. And not just the hookshot, but the woman hookshot, and the child shot. Ugh, oh, that was fucking awful. Anyway, chat, I want to go to Hateno Village. Is generally this where Hateno Village is? I want to go to my old house. Okay, well, I don't unfortunately see an easy way to get there. Maybe just the Room of Awakening? Check back at the camp first, with Joshua. Uh... Good to know. Operating word there was no. By the way. I couldn't help it. That was- that was so scummy, but I couldn't help it. It just was too good. Joshi's competing. Yeah, I want to go get, um, my house back or something. Uh, yeah, this is gonna- this is gonna be a bit of a... Be a bit of a hike, chat. So, we'll put green beacon. I don't even know what this. Why did I pin that? I don't know what that is. I guess we can do some bird power. Does this freak just follow me around all the time now? You can disable and key items. Okay. Make no mistake, original bird is great. Ghost, green bird, freak.
came on here. No problems. So one thing I learned the hard way is that these birds eventually just despawn while you're on them. Fun detected. Ugh. God damn it. Well, thanks for the raid, Desert. It's, it's going to be a bit of a journey. Which means we could probably wear this. There's stuff that can last longer, depends on how you build. Gotcha. This looks like a very substantial Skyland. Do I want to try to get there? Never mind. Eventually. Potato's like this way, right? Or, or no? Or is it more green? Vinny, you can literally see it. Uh, is that it? It's not just a series of dots? Oh yeah, no, that's it, alright. Okay. God. Worst day of this moblin's book hoblin's life. I was carrying all this meat. Some fuck from the sky with a bird freak shows up. Worst day of this goat's life. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Realm it. Raur is now dead. Is that how you say the name? Raur. Raur. There you go. I, I like these new Korok puzzles.
physics-based Koroks. How's that down there? It's like green. It's like a green light. Oh well. Oh, yeah, let's actually just do this. I just want to be here and see what it's like now. There's that music. Well, it wasn't destroyed. He's talking to me. Uh, so is there anything special bringing you to Hateno Village at this hour? All we have are veggie, CC's fashion, and th those two things really, you know, not much point attacking our homes or anything. Oh, he's actually pretty handsome. Now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. Not asking any questions. You swept me off my feet so fast I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more, though. Just forget what happened here today. Okay, forgotten. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going for there. Way to kill the mood. <laughs> Were there mushrooms here like this last time? No, right? got like a mushroom problem in town now great I'm gonna have to figure this shit out aren't I link we don't know why but mushrooms keep growing But you wanted a house. Well, I want a warp point here, too. Let me just goats this open real quick. Okay, I'm not doing that just yet. I want to go to Link's old house. They, they're bound to give it back to him, right? Let's see if I remember where it is. I'm home! Oh. Yeah, this isn't it. Could this be Link's home? Someone else live here now? Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities, the damage was far worse than I had imagined. But 
as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hateno Village. It's the largest Hylian village, with its sprawling, bountiful land. There's so many children living here that it seemed like the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institution Institute to teach here. He was pure as assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him in a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see the sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. So, where did Link live then? And why didn't Zeld live in the castle, which was obviously very cool? Alright, don't answer that. I know why. They live together? Wait, does Link live here too? Doesn't seem like he does. This is Link's house, the shed, yeah. Is this Zelda's secret well? Though the calamity's over. The cock shed, what? Its scars remain, a mountain of problems stands before us, even as we re begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side, a kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. That frog just went through a wall. I still like the hood. But at least you can, you know, there's some memories here. Did Zelda draw? No, oh, Link drew these, probably. Yeah. That's that's cute. Good for Link. This is my house. And this is, this is our cow. And uh, this is Zelda, who is the coolest uh, of our time. Vinny, the children drew those. Yeah, Link. So how do I get the house back? I want I want this. This is mine now. I want to put weapons up. If you want a house, go to Tarrytown. Oh man, but I just got here. Also, the throne room, as in, like, the castle? Shut 
shit. Okay. Yeah, that is a bit of a conundrum, huh? All right. We're going to be testing some new methods and technologies out. Korok space program has begun. Wheels? Korok just said, oof. Um. Right. Right. Let's see. gone too far in a few places. <laughs> he said we! He said we! <laughs> oh no, where did he go? Um... <sighs> oh, there you are. Yeah, but you could just, like... Yeah, there we go. Wait, where's the friend? Up more? Oh, I thought it was lower. It's even higher. Oh, there we go.
Chat, isn't Hyrule Castle in the sky? Like, like I can't get that fucking thing, right? You can use a tower. I don't, uh, all right. Boy, there, there's a lot of mushroom stuff happening here. I've said it multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? We we took the trouble to come here, and now you're saying we can't get in? I want to see Cece's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. Mm. Yeah, everything I heard said this was some of Cece's best work. Oh. I'm so so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket. So you're saying one person could go in? Mm. Hey, come on now. We can't just let one of us get a head start. Sure, I know. It, it was just a joke. Uh? Well, maybe if we come back later, they'll have room for all of us. Uh. It's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Uh. <laughs> There's a laboratory specializing uh. in ancient stuff. Since we're all dolled up, may as well hit the town and see it all. I can't believe the new fashion in this game is, is mushroom. Uh. Am I the main character? I can't wait to go in there and there's a vine sauce room with a picture of my face in it and meat and scoot and people are gonna be like, no. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister? I mean, the new line of CC's product. Uh, as long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. It's okay, I don't want this shit anyway. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I meant, hey, how, how you doing? Uh, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an, exempl it's an exemplar of the form from every angle. <clears throat> this is the sort of thing in which Built by name and reputation as the world-renowned Cece, hmm? Uh, oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incom incomparable Cece? Well, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to the Ventist Clothing. What? To Ventist Clothing. Oh, the only boutique in the world which carries the Cece brand. And if you weren't aware, you stand before the very woman who changed the... This fusty old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. As proof, I present you this the CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work of yours truly. CC. Oh god, it's all mushrooms. Do you see that luxurious curve? Do you note my avant garde something? Would you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. Oh, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? It's Jesus? Uh, I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Cece, you've got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hateno's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Oh now, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Um, don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hateno wrapped around her finger already. 
My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? It didn't need rejuvenating! Hateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it! <laughs> do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of this village. Oh. By holding a mayoral election. Mm. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure suits me, I'll win that pretty easy. Uh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Eh? What? Mm. Oh, come on, Clavia, I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. Uh. Oh, you again. Uh. Got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Uh, hmm? The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course, undecided. No. Oh, if you haven't thrown your lot in with either candidate, then welcome to Team uh, CC. That settles it. I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next uh, mayor, or so one would think. Yet there are stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. Uh, and so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporters. Oh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion... <laughs> Fungal fashion is the CC way. It's fungal funny. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand oh. colors. Although, Sophie and I must mind the shop. Where will we find someone who can carry out this task? I have to go. So eager to get started on my little errand already. You'll need these then. Uh -huh. These mushrooms are for the village's reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them but I, by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Uh -huh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. Uh -huh. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah she researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Reed supporters, here we go. Your mission is simple, give one to the misguided voters. I, but what if, what, what, what if I don't want the hat? God, I just wanted my house back. I didn't want to get caught up in a mayoral election. I'm gonna start a goddamn chat war. You want it, trust me. What if- can you, like, support Mayor Reed instead? Just curious. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Ventus Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh. Yeah, I lost my head a little there, but um, I'm not proud of the way I behaved. But don't worry about me. I have a few tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one off... Pull off... <laughs> pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election, so I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. Well, way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel. Uh, gooey mouthfeel and fungal fashion of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. <laughs> If I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that could stand up to Cece. Except I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. There's an aroma. Ah. Don't worry about my problems. I hope you have a nice relaxing time in our village. Does no one remember Link? 
Have you tried the fresh milk they make on the farm up the hill? I never start my morning without a glass. So, okay, you can... Is it one or the other? Like, if you... Do you get locked out of the mushroom hat? No? Okay. Well, I don't have the mental capacity to do this right now, so we're gonna do the shrine instead, where I need even more mental capacity. Go get Link's new tunic. Finally, the scoop emote is useful yet again. It almost never happens, but once in a while, there's just a perfect synergy and a perfect occasion. These crackles are becoming more prevalent, chat. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Weird that it's it's happening now. Like what I don't know what's causing it. God damn it. Build a scoop. Let me build a scoop. Chat, I'm committed to the scoop. 
Please understand. This is it. Oh, it's gonna be fucking glorious. Oh, we're scooping. We're scooping, all right. No. I can't. It's stuck down there. Chat, it's stuck down there. I can't get it. Oh, oh that's so lame. Amazing. Wow. Did it. And just like squirted that ball out. Uh, so chat, where's the treasure chest in this one? Is it ben beneath the balls? Probably is, right? Oh god, I have to build another scoop now. Wow, they're so heavy. It, it won't lift. I'm going to make a ball scoop. Maybe. So here, we start with two balls. I can't believe I'm still in this fucking shrine. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's probably fine. Don't even need it. Wait, is my original scoop idea about to work? It worked! Well, at least I, I got that going for me. Looks like you could have just glued the ball straight on. Yeah, it looks like it. Now the janitor has to put the balls back on for the next player. Or back in the pit. Yeah, you're right. That's not fair. Well, they're not doing anything else in this village anyway. They're just fucking debating mushroom fashion. And I'm all about the fungal funny. But something about these mushrooms just does not does not work for me, and I don't know why. Alright, well, my final task should... Oh, dragon. Um, of the night, because it's getting pretty late. Should be to get the tower in this area. Now, is that the tower of... That's the tower of a different area. What, what tower is this one? Is it that? Let's do it. Final task. There's also so much more I would like to do. I mean, there's also the uh, Great Plateau, which has new stuff on it that we didn't even do. There's the Champion's Tunic now that we're aware of. There's um, my own home in Tarrytown. more tomorrow? I don't know if I can play tomorrow, chat members. I, I, I just don't know. I might have to do some pre-records on this too, because it, it's just it's just too much, and I'm, I'm truthfully, like, I have other stuff that's been pre-recorded that I want to upload. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do, but I just want to keep playing the game, but I also know that the, the end of the week I'm going to be kind of busy as well. So, yeah, I have to figure that out. And try to be responsible, even though with Zelda... I am not responsible, I just will play. Can I just, like, shoot fruit into their mouth? <laughs> Lula Zalfo's horn. 
I'm surprised I hadn't gotten that yet. Strengthened Lizzle Bow. Least Lizzle. Guess I gotta wear some pants. Still. Okay. Alright, not anymore. Oh, damn. Why is that dragon so close to the tower? Shit! It's amazing. I saw that message, chat member. It's just a reference to the Mario game that I played the other night. That's all it is. Very deep game. Spielberg. Now that Zelda is out, what's your most anticipated game? Spielberg, huh? I'll take it as a compliment. Guy made Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, after all. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, Final Fantasy C uh, 7 Remake Part 2? Maybe, and hoping it's good? Someone said Diablo, but not really. I don't even know if I'm gonna want to play Diablo. I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, I have almost no faith in Blizzard anymore and have been burned many, many a time by them. That treasure chest is just gone. Overwatch 2. What happened? They they canceled the Overwatch 2 portion of Overwatch 2? Like, something bizarre just happened. What does that mean, Chat? Can someone explain that to me? Because I saw the headline and I saw nothing else and I just said, just stupid. They canceled the entire point of Overwatch 2. No more PvE. PvE story mode? I don't... That was... was that ever even in the game, or was that just not in the game at all? It was the selling point it was supposed to be. But didn't Overwatch 2 come out already? Did it just not release with... you know, features? How is this the same Blizzard that I grew up with? I, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Like, they have the resources. Couldn't they, like, release a finished game? Sequel? Like, there was a time where they made really good sequels. It's not the same Blizzard, that's why. I know, well, that I know for sure. And, you know, again, a company that's been around since the early 90s, or probably even 80s, right? Um, I grew up at a time where the rumor was that Ozzy Osbourne owned Blizzard. Because the Blizzard of Oz was his, um, album name. I don't know, I don't make the rules. But, um, yeah, any company that's been around since the, the late 80s... It, it can be real tough to maintain that identity. Nintendo still has good developers, but, you know, when massive amounts of money come into it and buyouts occur... Like, Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo at one point. I'm no longer 
no longer since the presence of the mother goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon go to the land that brings tidings to me of the mother goddess statue huh don't know what that means exactly but uh, I'll do my best I'm a treasure hunter, adventurer extraordinaire, undaunted by even the coldest snow. There he's frozen solid and packed with monsters. Ah! There's gotta be treasure around here. Until I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reasons I am, and if you are, you'd be oh. wasting your time. There's a legend related to the treasure on this mountain. Okay. Skim across the snow from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain down below. Pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. Ah! I'm guessing, yeah, you gotta be in the sky and then go through some stuff and then you get a treasure. Yep. Oh. Sorry, you can't really do that. Do you know how to, Hi. like, glue a rocket to your back or your shield? No? Alright, well then... Looks like you're shit out of luck, friend. Did you forget about Pikmin 4 again? It's not my most anticipated game. I like Pikmin 4, and I forget about it frequently, but, but it's it's a game I'm interested in, for sure, but not, like, number one. This was a question I had answered in a previous Tears of the Kingdom stream, actually. And, yeah, there's a couple things, but... Yeah, I played 1, 2, and 3 for Pikmin. I loved Pikmin 3. Icy meat. Frozen bird drumstick. I didn't even go to the underground area at all today. I mean, I did earlier when I played the game when I was waiting for my car to be fixed, but, uh... Not on stream. The puzzle that for to, uh, for this one to this one is just like get up the mountain. Well, the car wasn't broken. I needed a wheel alignment and uh, needed to do an inspection. The usual bullshit. Nothing too crazy. Um, oil. So like I said earlier, it was just nice to have Zelda to play while I was doing all that. Why did that take two hours? I have no fucking idea. Busy, perhaps? I mean, it was, but... I don't know. Vinny has a non-Euclidean car engine. I made it in Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa, that Skyland goes up. Damn, okay. Well, that's- that's something for a- definitely for another time. Ah, got it. Oh, a steering column. Oh, that's that's amazing.
Oh my god, chat, we did it. We found we found an airship. There's no real way to get this to go lower. But this could be used very wisely, I think. And the sky was such a fucking good idea. Power it off, it'll go down again. Well, it went down again. Sled shield. Note, I still have the minecart shield from the very beginning of the game. Oh, this is the treasure that was being spoken about. Oh my god, I'm still playing the game. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's do it. I guess you can- you can probably open your glide. I can't look right now at chat, but you- I think you can open your glider. While you're shield surfing. Do you remember when I was- I think I was shield surfing. Down an icy mountain, and then a Korok just appeared. Like, I got a Korok across the map. It didn't make any sense, and no one to this day has figured it out. I, I hit an enemy, and a Korok appeared. It went yahaha. And that was it. Was it a glitch? I believe it was a glitch. I got that same glitch on all three of my Breath of the Wild playthroughs. Oh, okay, so people have experienced the same thing. Yeah, the game also, it slowed down, it stuttered really bad, and then I got the Korok. If we distract him, he won't go to bed. I gotta do this now.
That was a waste. I mean, it looks like I actually do have to kill the constructs. And my monitor turned off again because there is no activity. I really, you know what I gotta do? I just gotta hit the, I gotta like use a soundboard clip every now and then. I wish I had those rockets again. Damn. It's kind of a fun shrine, though. Very even tide island. It's like the Ganondorf sword. All right, great, done. Okay, treasure chest is in there. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, chat. Chat, check this out. Where is it? Did I not get to keep it? Ah. Oh. Pretty good spear, though. Vinny, were you ever at the Wii's launch in New York? I was. Not day of. It launched on a Sunday. I was there Monday. At Nintendo New York. Nintendo World at the, th at the time. Because I couldn't find a Wii. I found Twilight Princess, but not a Wii. So... I went real early before my classes in college. And... Waited in line for like an hour and a half. At the Nintendo store. Got my Wii, and then I did everything I could to make sure I hid 
the fact that I had a Wii. Because I was worried someone might steal it. Because it was a very hot item at the time, obviously. I don't know, maybe I was paranoid, but who knows. No, Korok, God damn it! no, I was about to stop playing the game. No, Korok, no, I'm tired. Don't make me do this. Alright, fine, Korok, I'll help you. I'll help you. What the shooting at me? even know if we're going to be able to drive up there. Like, do I have to just attach a rocket to the fucker again? <laughs> you can off-road with those tires. Hell yeah, skull year. I could have sworn I've heard somebody say that one time in my life, and I could have just been making that up, but... That I heard someone say, Skull Yeah, and it stuck with me, because it was so dumb. At some point, I'm assuming we're going to get the ability to, uh... We're going to get steering columns. From, uh, the vending machines, I'd imagine. It just works. I'm so happy that a device such as a steering column is in this game. I mean, I don't know if the intended method is to go up this way. Or if... Even if it's not intended, I don't even know if it's a method.
I am absolutely no closer to my goal. I don't, I really, really, really don't think this is. Ah, oh, man. I'm never going to go to sleep, am I? I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is a this is a mess. This has become a fiasco. It went from ordeal to fiasco. It's like green smoke, right? I mean, this has got to be... This one seems, like, absurdly difficult. Now what? We're out of fucking fuel. All you have to do is... drive up the road?
And we're not even, like, close to the friend, either. Like, how are we gonna get there? Go this way. Maybe if we put our weight on it. Maybe if we put our weight on it. Oh god. Add a fan? I don't know if I can. I, we're chat, we're, we're too in... We're- we're in too deep here with this. Oh no. Oh my god. Hey. How you doing? That's amazing. How do I... Uh, Chad, how do I get it? I, I shot it. Where is it? It just fell? Okay. And you can only get one, right? This is a fucking incredible moment, by the way. Oh, it went... like... Wait, how deep is that? Yeah. Uh, kind of needed that scale. Go to sleep, then I'll never get the scale. The Korok? What Korok? Is it- it's dead? What do you mean? Vinny, you can land on the dragon now. Oh, cool. second chat just hold up hold up no hold hold up
So, could have fallen down the ravine here. Could have also fallen up here, but I don't see it up here. Look up. Mm. That that's not it, is it? No, that's not it. Can't I can't get a good angle on it. That is a light flower that I dropped. Maybe it went to the surface? Wait, is that it? Got it. <sighs> what an adventure. You think that Korok is down here somewhere too? Probably despawned. People keep saying, Vinny, go to bed. And it's like... It's not my fault this game just keeps giving me things to do. And we also found another mine. on the map. Nice. Okay, I, I, I'm going. I'm going, Chad. I'm going. Oh my god, this fucking game. Absolutely unbelievable. It's- it's just- it's amazing. It really is fucking amazing. And it doesn't... like, stop being fun. Like, it just keeps... it keeps the addiction flowing. Right into the veins. Oh, man. It's also pulping my- my viewer numbers, like I said earlier, but... Ah, oh, man, it's just so good. I don't- I don't care. Alright, listen. I gotta go. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll save that Korok eventually. I appreciate you being here and watching. Uh, game is good. Hope you have a great day, good night, and all the things like those uh, set things that were said. And uh, I don't know when I'll be live next. It'll just be whenever I can. And also, it'll probably 
maybe be Thursday night as well, but maybe not. I'm not sure yet. Because I know I have stuff to do early in Friday morning, so I don't know. But uh, regardless, take care. Good night. Goodbye. And Zeld well, everybody. Zeld well. Limit.